सो इसमें स्क्रीन विजिबल सर ओके सो मूविंग ऑन टू दी सेकेंड मॉड्यूल सो इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट मेन्शन इन सेकेंड मॉड्यूल आर फर्स्ट वन इज मेटीरियल मैनेजमेंट सो मेटीरियल इन देंस इट कैन बी एनीथिंग दैट इज ओके material can be anything such as a bulk packaged individual product in a semi solid or solid state okay such is known as a mechanical uh, sorry a material uh, in material handling so such a thing is called material and handling of such materials that are in either a semi solid or a solid state is known as material handling so you are handling all the material or you are moving the material from one place to another so basically if you are taking raw materials raw materials are carried from a station of uh, cleaning from their impurities uh, are removed and then after that it is then carried to various operations to finally produce the product so the product in itself is a raw material right a raw material Uh, is being used and it is converted into a product so it is in the state of a semi solid or a solid state and such a state is moved uh, from one place to another by means of either gravity manual or power actu- actuated equipment so gravity in the sense we are as- uh, using gravity gravity is assisting in the operation so we have seen examples right uh, by using shoots or using a slide uh, such uh, things are being used to utilize gravity so if you are using gravity <coughs> the advantage is that you don't have to provide additional power and the prov- provision of additional pa- power can always result in extra management or extra income or extra uh, capital to be given to such a material management so that is the advantage mm-hmm. of using gravity then manually in the sense you are using human labor itself for transportation so we have seen various human labor type material management so basically what is done is packaging you have seen how employees are pa- packaging various mm-hmm. videos etc you have seen right so that is coming under manually or power actuated power actuated mang equipment so we have already studied various equipments about forklift truck uh, conveyors uh, etc so these are all coming under material management so these assist in the moment of bulk packaged and individual products okay so that is what is material handling so you are handling the moment of bulk packaged and individual products which are in a semi solid or solid state and it is moved by means of gravity manually or power actuated equipment so that is known as material management okay so next we will look at the objectives of material management so what are the basic objectives of material management first one is nothing but to minimize the cost of material handling so we are uh, we are having a material handling uh, procedure maybe by means of uh, power equipment or by means of um, uh, human labor or by means of gravity assist okay any type of material handling is being used but we are always having the objective that it must have a minimized cost or a minimum cost then only you can incur more profit that is the uh, ultimate aim there you have to obtain more p- profit so one of the way is nothing but to minimize cost so uh, it is not profit is not concentrated on minimizing the cost of material handling itself various operations are there and we are optimizing each and every one of them that is what we studied during ERP that is enterprise resource planning okay so that is coming under that but material handling is also a part of 
profit generation where you can minimize the cost of material handling and this can be done easily or the most cost that is being reduced is during gravity assist so under gravity assist there is no problem of using uh, an electrical source or you don't have to give any type of power for such an uh, operation to be carried out you just have to create a pathway in which gravity can assist in the movement of material that is the advantage of using a uh, gravity handling okay so that is uh, gravity but using other type of systems can incur some type of cost and uh, this is because uh, these are all in requirement of all the uh, uh, power that is required for uh, power required for the material handling. So that that is a problem there. But you can't always use gravity for each and every type of material handling. Wherever it is applicable, only there you can use the gravity handling. Uh, situation okay that is uh, coming there so if you want to transport something that is heavier a heavier thing cannot be assisted by gravity right so it can uh, create many problems so if you want to transport something like that you have to use a forklift truck or you have to use such type of powered equipment maybe human labor itself will not be possible there is a limit for human labor also uh, a group of people lifting up and carrying one thing from another place is also limited so if it is a tiny item you can obviously transport it by uh, humans um, so if you're taking glass and all uh, small types of ch uh, china patterns or uh, small glasses and all these and all cannot be uh, used in gravity assist method because on using that gravity assistant method they will collide each other and obviously will break that is undesirable so you can use either uh, by means of a conveyor belt or uh, by means of a human labor itself for packaging etc so these are all coming under that but always the objective is minimize the cost of material handling second one is safety in material handling through improvement in working condition so uh, we have to improve the safety. Safety is another factor of material handling. So depending upon the type of material handling used, gravity assist or powered equipment or human labor, all conditions uh, must be safe. So one of the importance of safety is nothing but to uh, protect the device or that equipment that is uh, responsible for material handling. So if you can do that, you can uh keep the risk factor at a minimum and keeping the risk factor at a minimum can boost the morale of a employee so we have looked upon that uh, before itself so that is the next condition safety so the first one was minimize the cost second one was safety third one prevention of damages to the materials so we have to prevent the damages to the materials. That is what I have said about the example of a glass. So if you are using a glass by means of a gravity assisted transport system, then obviously it will break, right? So you have to prevent such a damage. So if you have a, a broken thing or a defective thing, you don't have, the customer will not buy that product or you you are incurring loss there. So you have to build another product as a re replacement for the broken one or the defective one. That is the problem there. So you have to prevent the damages to the materials. Other than the defects occurring inside the product, you must not have any damages also. For that, you have to use the... Uh, material handling that reduces damage or prevents damage okay that is what is the aim here so first one was minimize cost second is a safety third one is prevention of damage next one minimize delays and interruptions by making available the materials at the point of use at a right quantity and at a right time so you have to minimize delays and how can you de minimize delays you must have the materials available at that point of use at the right quantity and at the right time so you must have the uh, components even if it is one two or three or etc 
how many products must be there it must be available at the during that time so if you are starting for an operation operation in the sense if it is a forging operation the material must be present there for forging operation or after the forging uh, operation the material cooling and available at the next procedure annealing or etc any procedure that is being done or operations are being done at that time the product must be available or the material must be available at the right quantity and at right time so the first one was minimize cost of material handling second safety third prevention of damage and fourth minimize delays and fifth one is maximum utilization of material handling equipment we are using the type of material handling method by means of a gravity assist or a human labor or by means of a powered equipment you have to utilize it completely if you are not utilizing it completely then you, it is further waste so if you are buying a forklift truck okay and your your intention is to transport it from one place to another but if it is a smaller item or a smaller product you can see that a human labor itself is enough for the transportation okay if such a thing happens the forklift truck is obviously a waste there so you do you are not utilizing that that is the problem there if you are not utilizing it there is no sufficient uh, need for a for forklift truck but a forklift truck can transport more number of products and heavier products at a particular speed instead of using a human labor that is what is the advantage there so that is how you are maximum utilizing it so if you are using a forklift truck you can transport a more number of components and also heavier components because of the hydraulic power or the power we are exerting for that forklift truck okay so that is how we are utilizing it so if you are using that forklift truck you can easily mount the inventory or you can easily transport one material to other place at a faster rate so you can reduce the time for the production itself understand so that is what is coming under maximum utilization so first one is minimize cost second is safety third is prevention of damages then fourth one minimize delays fifth one maximum utilization of material handling equipment and the last one lower investment in process uh, inventory so what is in process in process is nothing but work in process parts so that those parts which have not completed or are being kept half completed so it is not completely done there is some additional work to be done and such a thing is known as in process inventory so we are storing that in an inventory itself so that is you have to lower that so if you can lower that the advantages is nothing but you will avoid the confusion and delays occurring due an in process inventory so what are the confusions occurring it is nothing but each product that is being placed in the inventory work in process inventory may be a uh, few stages of the operations are different that is to be completed are different so one uh, product will be completed to a particular phase maybe a 40 percentage other product maybe a 60 percent so there is a difference there right so the amount of operations to be done so if you are kind of keeping it in an inventory it will provide additional delays in the inventory production or um, the starting up of the production on basis of the work in process products so this will lead to a confusion or it will lead to a delay in time so that is what is known as in process inventory and investment for an in process inventory also is high okay that is additional task so you i have already told you about how the uh, inventory stocked up or the pro product stocked in the inventory can incur some overhead cost or overhead price in terms of inventory holding cost okay so such a holding cost is present and it is also true for work in process inventory so you are giving investment for uh, work in process inventory also okay 
so an objective of metal handling is always to lower such investment in process inventory so basically there are six types of objectives of material handling first is minimize cost second is safety in material handling third is prevention of damage fourth is minimize delays fifth is maximum utilization and finally sixth is lower investment in process inventory okay these are the objectives of material handling next is the elements of material management so what are the basic elements of material management first is motion second time third quantity and fourth space so what is motion mean motion is nothing but it is the basis of material handling always the transport of one material from one place to another that is coming under motion and how should the motion be done it must be done in an economic wherein the price is kept at a minimum safe we have discussed the objective of metal handling where safety is a primary concern and efficient manner so it must be utilized completely or it must be the most efficient manner so if you are using a forklift truck here it must be used or utilized maximum in an efficient manner so it must be done most uh, with the most minimum delay so that is what is your ultimate aim there you have to reduce the delay therefore that the efficient uh, the transportation should be done in an efficient manner second one is time provide materials on time so advantage of providing materials on time is nothing but you can reduce the delay or delay is a waste that is occurring during manufacturing process and one of the ways to uh, reduce or eliminate that delay is nothing but to provide materials on time or at the right time and the right quantity that is coming under time then quantity quantity is coming as ensure supply of correct quantity continuously so you have seen a manufacturing process right one process is being carried out multiple times you can see how Uh, that process is running throughout the industry for that duration of a working time and the quantity is supplied continuously through it to reduce that delay you have seen various uh, production cycles or productions being done through videos and all you have seen and in that you can see how the supply of quantity is being done continuously then fourth one is space ensure optimum use of space so that comes under inventory so inventory is stocked up with raw materials other type of materials many materials are there and for that we are uh, optimum we are using the space at op uh, optimally so the the thing is nothing but you have you have to utilize the complete space for something some kind of work that is what we discussed in first module right in a manufacturing plant you have to utilize all the space as part of material management also you have to utilize the space for the optimum management so you have you have to have a space for storing all the inventory of course an inventory will occur and you have to have sufficient space and you have to use it uh, or else uh, if you don't have such a product there they it will incur further cost so if you are giving a rent for a particular space of stock inventory then obviously you have to give uh, such payments as a rent and etc so if you are not using sufficient space obviously that is a waste there you don't have to um, have such an inventory and you are paying additional price instead of that inventory so that is what is coming under uh, space okay these are the elements of material management okay next is the types of material handling equipments so this is also a common question that can be asked in the uh second module so what are the types of material handling equipment so you have to mention all these types basically eight types and you have to uh mention for each and every uh material handling equipment some explanation has to be given and if you can draw a figure you can draw 
it is i know it is hard to draw forklift truck but you can draw for others and all a crude diagram so i have already given you a crude diagram or you can uh, refer the
Uh, sorry guys, I did not see the net was cut.